What is an LMH? You may have seen this word all over the news stories recently, but what exactly does an LMH mean? In this video, we'll talk about the LMH car and what type of motorsport it will be in, what teams are building them, and so much more. Before we go into the video, please click the subscribe button to see more motorsport content like this. This would really help me out in growing my YouTube channel, so thank you very much, and let's head into the video. To start things off, let's talk about what LMH stands for. LMH is the abbreviation of Le Mans Hypercar. The LMH cars will run in the World Endurance Championship in the Hypercar class, which is the top level category in the WEC. The LMH cars will also be allowed to race in IMSA from 2023 onwards. But manufacturers that run LMH cars will not be the only teams running cars in the hypercar class. Some teams will opt to use an LMDH, and if you want to know more about the LMDH, I made a whole separate video on these type of cars. And if you want to check out that video after you watch this one, there's a link in the card above. But the LMH and the LMDH have equal pace and will both be fighting in the hypercar class from 2022 onwards in the World Endurance Championship. This means that LMDH teams and LMH teams will both be able to fight for the overall championship. While both types of cars have similar pace, they do have some major differences. For the LMH, the manufacturer builds their own chassis, their own hybrid system, bodywork, etc. They basically build the entire machine. However, the LMDH is quite different. Like I said previously, there's a separate video for that that explains all the information on the LMDH cars. So what teams have confirmed to build LMH cars to race in endurance racing? Toyota and Glickenhaus have already been racing in the World Endurance Championship, and Toyota has already won the 2021 championship. This year, in 2022, Peugeot will join them, and Ferrari will join in 2023. I also expect many other manufacturers to confirm that they'll build LMH cars to run in these motorsports. There's rumors that Geely and Tata will be joining the hypercar class. Geely would use the Lotus name and Tata would use the Jaguar name. I also think if Peugeot joins the IMSA series, they'll use the name Dodge since they're both part of Stellantis. What's great about the hypercar class is that it's fairly new and so all these teams coming into it will have similar experience. I don't think we'll have just one team dominating the entire category. I think we'll have a mix up between different teams winning at certain stages and that means we'll get a great championship and great racing all the way. The future for the hypercar class is looking great and I bet you the amount of racing we're going to get is going to be incredible to witness. So for now, that's everything on the LMH. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you want to send in your thoughts on the LMH cars, please do so down in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace out.